Hi, my name's Alex, and I founded The First Hope. I started The First Hope my sophomore year of high school. The First Hope is a community for people dealing with self-injury, depression, suicide, eating disorders, or poor self-image. I struggled with self-injury, depression, and thoughts of suicide for over a year. I started this organization because I wanted to give people something I felt I didn't have. I could never seem to find someone I felt I could talk to and really connect with. I never really felt like I had somebody there who understood what I was saying. I wanted to provide people with what I feel is an important resource for recovery, and that's having somebody there to listen, to care about you, and to understand, or at least try to understand what you're talking about and what you're going through. When I was 15, there were a lot of life circumstances that were difficult to say the least. And I had, I started having hallucinations. Um, was the first time that I noticed that this might be a problem. And I would see blood kind of just everywhere. And that went on for a long time. Um, when I started sophomore year of high school, I started just, actually I guess freshman year. It started off as just body dysmorphic disorder. And um, I had that, I just knew that I thought I was giant and fat and people would tell me that I wasn't, but I didn't really know what they meant. Then at home, I was getting other signals about the importance of losing weight. Um, junior year is when the actual eating disorder started. I just remember feeling a lot of guilt anytime I ate, um, especially if it, if it was like vegetables or fruit, it was okay. But if I ever ate anything that was more substantial than that, I would feel like I was greedy or that I was guilty, um, and usually after every meal, I would feel I would feel like, well, I need to run, I need to start, I need to exercise. I had let down my mom, and I felt like I was letting down my percussion instructor at the time because I wasn't practicing hard enough or whatever, which was probably because I was relatively depressed and scared of blood everywhere. But I felt like I was letting everybody down, so I planned my suicide. I planned it a month in advance, and I didn't get a diagnosis or help until the day of. The First Hope is not a group of psychologists or trained counselors. We're a group of young adults who want to make a difference in the world and the lives of the people around us. There's so many kids that get bullied every day, and you see it, but... Nobody really does anything about it. And it's, it's hard. I dealt with depression. I just feel like nothing ever can help it. That's why I'm in the first show. Because I know what it's like. I wouldn't let it happen. 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 Adults can only do so much. There's different types of bullying, and some happen Why outside of should I apologize? There's texting or online. You're the one at fault. Not a lot of things. Why like, should I tell people about it? But it still happens. Uh, my, my first thought was, oh my gosh, who's the strange guy running up to me? But, <laughs> um, no, uh, I was introduced to them, and uh, they had a really, really good cause. And, we raise a lot of money at these events because uh, in Waco, as one of the only bands here, one of the only other bands that was actually a band that didn't have to travel from places like Austin, it was really easy to get a really good crowd, at least 50 to 75 people, at least to make money with these organizations. Uh, the people... Inspiration, so bring on my own. Fairly firmly. You wouldn't expect to be um, someone that has injures themselves, uh, but the scars are there. When I first met a couple of people, um, I had to do a boot on the scene, so I was like, I had to do a boot on the scene. And then there are other people who are still drunk, and they don't suffer from any other kind of problems. Um, uh, it's a place where Straight 
Our gates is bone shattered. 